Hello and welcome back to my psychic monotype of Pokemon Complex Crystal. In the last episode, we defeated the Rockets in Mahogany Town and then we defeated Price at the Mahogany Town Gym. And this episode, this episode is probably going to be a little bit shorter than the last two because they've both been pretty long. Um, I'm hoping to get through Ice Cave and then also hoping to... That sounds like my laptop's starting to get loud, so we're just going to do that. Um... Yeah, I'm uh, hoping to get through Ice Cave and then maybe start taking like, tackling more of those rockets in Goldenrod. But anyway, so just to show, nothing's really changed. We will hopefully be able to evolve Staryu in this episode. I just need one more level there. Eevee is still just being finickety. So, we should know these puzzles in Ice Cave by now. Um, so this shouldn't take too long. I'll be interested to see what Pokemon are around. As you can see, we have level 40 swine up, so um, the levels have certainly been bolstered here, um, which is kind of scary if any, like, I suppose it's not that scary because we are still much higher in terms of level. Uh, no, that was poorly done. Okay. Do, 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 do. Sorry, let's give me a sec. Yeah, we want to land on that one, don't we? Is that the idea? I'm pretty sure we're meant to land on top of the one um, most right there. I've just got to work out how to do that. Oh, there we are. That's it. There we go. Eventually I will figure this out. Um, then we have... Uh, our HMO7, which is obviously um, water, waterfall. Um, I'm not going to work out how to come out of here. Okay, there we go. As I said, we do know all these puzzles, so it shouldn't be too difficult for us just to be able to, um... Do we have to head down now? I think we do. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm not. We have Wild Slugma in here! Um... I've never used a Slugma, that'll be an interesting choice. Um... Okay, so we want to move you there. So we've obviously got a Strength puzzle here. I didn't mean to Strength. Uh, Swift there, sorry. Puzzle changed. I can't work it. Uh, it looks different. I don't remember having to do this. But uh, anyway, we'll come down. We'll push that there. This has one boulder. Have I screwed this up? Uh, yes. So what we actually want to do. It does look like this puzzle has slightly changed. I'm sorry about my laptop. My laptop might get a bit loud. So, um, yeah, I think this is what we want to do. We want to do that. Then we want to come... Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure this puzzle has changed, but, um, again, I might be wrong. Can't be right about everything. Doing that. Okay, cool. Next. Um... So we have this boulder, which I think I probably just made a mistake with. Maybe not. Um, okay. We can surf here. We can bring that down, and then we can uh, punch this across. We are encountering wild jinx here. Um, shouldn't be too difficult. There we go. Again, as soon as Astara gets to level 40, um, I think we've got to put that there, and then we've got to go all the way around. Or we can just do that. I'm pretty sure that's where we need to go. I know there are other items around here. Let me just uh, do check something. 
So I fell down here, and I fell... And... Okay, uh, well, we gotta push this boulder right through anyway. Um, but we can't do it from this side, it looks like. So, we'll take on another Jinx. Um, again, Powder Snow is... Um, there we go. What's that? Light screen! You may indeed learn light screen instead of harden. And now, pack. Waterstone. Star. There we go, our star has evolved into a Starmie, which is awesome, especially because I love Starmie as a Pokemon. Um, just think it's a brilliant Pokemon, and uh, I really enjoyed... So actually, I think I used Starmie in my first ever Pokemon playthrough, um, which was... Was it Leaf Green? No, it was um, Fire Red used a Starmie in that one, and that was really, uh, it showed its usefulness there. Anyway, so we don't actually need to um, push that boulder around, because we can now pass through here. We don't have Rock Smash. I believe that is a Never Melt Ice. Um, so we might actually want to get that. I'll have to find a Pokemon that can uh, learn Rock Smash. We are going to need some definite HM Slaves. Um, Wild Mac Cargo. Shh. Should go down to a single surf, but we have no more PP. Um, oh no, we can just get it that way. Why on earth is that? What? Oh, anyway. <laughs> so we can get the Never Melt Ice there. Um, Never Melt Ice is actually going to be very handy for us. Um, we'll give it to Jinx, because uh, obviously powers up ice type moves. And now, all we need to do is we need to, if I remember correctly, that's TM44. Don't quite remember what TM44 is. TM44 is rest. Okay, so that's not particularly useful for us, unfortunately. But we can pass through here, and then we have another ice puzzle. Who loves the ice puzzles? We get an iron, um, which we will feed to Eevee, because um, stuff like that actually um, gives Eevee happiness. And obviously, we still want Eevee to be as happy as possible in order for, um, for him to evolve. And there we go. So, and now we can go through here. There's another item. I'm pretty sure this is where we were beforehand, so that's useful. We can grab, what's that, a PP up. Um, do PP ups? I can't remember. Protein, anyway, goes to Eevee. We'll give them a PP up anyway, in case it does. I don't, I'm not sure if it does, but I, it might. So just realizing of these attacks, which ones am I actually gonna keep? I am gonna keep Bite. We will increase Bite's PP just in case. And then we'll pass through here and we arrive in Blackthorn City, and obviously, as I've said before, the whole point of this was just to get us to Blackthorn. Is this the guy from Sunday? No, I'm just checking. Doesn't look like he's here, which would be quite nice if he was here, because I think he gives us the black glasses. Um, but anyway, that's not uh, too much of a worry for us. You, you're the move deleter, aren't you? And there's no move reminders in this gen, which kind of sucks. Um, so anyway, we're going to go to Zasu, and we are going to fly, and we're going to fly all the way back to Goldenrod. My team is fully healed up, and so we've got a normal type uh, challenge coming up, don't we? So here we go, we're going to hope, and we're going to see if we can actually defeat the trainer with all of his normal type Pokemon. So, he has five normal type Pokemon. Starts off with the Raticate. We are setting up the Reflect. I'm pretty sure. Isn't, I thought Reflect was the whole team. But that seemed to think, say it wasn't. Oh, of course, you get a critical hit pursuit. Anyway, second Pokemon is a Tauros. So we won't change because we still have that Reflect up. 
Psychic does well over half, which is really good, and he obviously has Pursuit. Actually, if we can force him into using Pursuit, that would be really good for us. We're going to Jinx, because um, I think Jinx, Jinx is not faster, but still manages to take out the Taurus and wants to learn Body Slam. Um, which is a better move for Lick. Certainly. The next Pokemon is the Mill Tank. Um, because rock type moves. Um, it wants to set up rollout essentially. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into Giraffe Rig. And we add Reflectors Faded, which kind of sucks. Um, I have no idea if it's a special or physical wall. I'm going to go for Strength and then I'm going to go for Psybeam. Psybeam indicates that it's most certainly a physical wall. Um, which is really good for us, because that means that a Pokemon like Jinx can come in and should do a lot of damage with... Nice punch! There we go, so that goes down. Next up is the Clefable, which I think is a special wall. So we're going to go into Zatu here, and we are going to fly. For some reason, his Clefable uses Sky Attack. Um, goes for the Hidden Power from the Metronome, which is... Of course, you get a super effective Hidden Power. I don't know what the chances of that are, but I'm pretty sure they're pretty small. Swift. Anyway, there. Zatu takes out the Clefable. And final Pokemon is the Furret. Hopefully we're faster, but we're not. Um, which kind of sucks. So we're going to go to the Stara here. We are surfing this thing away. Boom. And there we go. So we defeat the Rocket Grunt with his five normal type Pokemon. We've already taken on that person, and obviously before we take on more, we are going to heal up. I wish this game had running shoes. Maybe it does have running shoes, I don't know. Anyway, so, 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 you are next. Please be poison type and not normal type. He has a Golbat! Thank you! Psychic should be a one-hit KO, and indeed it is Alakazam. Goes to level 46. And next is the Crobat. This time we're going to go into Jinx. And we're going to go for the Ice Punch. Bite is super effective, but Ice Punch is a two-hit KO. And Jinx defeats the Crobat. Okay, so what's next? So, you. Three years ago, Team Rocket was forced to disband what we're making a comeback here, says Rocket Grunt. Starts off with the Aria Dose. Um, so, Bug Poison. I'm pretty sure Bug doesn't resist Psychic. And I was correct, which is really nice. Next up is the Weezing. Um, we're going to go... I wish I could go into Zatu here, but we can't. We're going to go into Jinx. Uh, and we're going to Confusion. It should be a two hit. It is a two hit. And we connect with the second confusion despite the smoke screen, which is really good. And then the muck. I'm just worried about the, um, the fact that we are. Uh, we can't. Goes for the screech and fails, which is lovely. Confusion, unfortunately, looks to be. A not a two hit, but there we go. Cybeam takes that. Giraffe rig defeat the rocket grunt and we complete all the battles on the first floor of um of the radio tower so now all we need to do is we need to head back in and climb up to the second floor okay so we've got three four battles it looks like so this Rocket Grunt only has one Pokemon and it is a Wild Effect. So we are going to go into Giraffe Rig. So it starts off with the Destiny Bond, which kind of sucks. Please don't counter. Does counter work on ghost types? Moves, that is. Goes for the Safeguard, okay. Does counter work on. That is a good question. Does counter work on ghost types? Land the counter. That's probably kicking me out, is it? Yeah. I hate you. 
I hate Wattleped. If I had Perish Song on my Jinx, that would be amazing. Um, so, do we expect it to go for Counter again, or is it going to go for Mirror Coat? You're going to go for Mirror Coat, aren't you? Destiny Bond, okay. Uh, I think now, because we've shown a physical move, it's going to go for the Counter. Or we can just take it down. <gasps> Screw Destiny Bond! I completely forgot! Man, I didn't want that to happen. That sucks. Oh dear, that was bad. Like there, there proves why frickin' Wabbuffet is such a Nuzlocke destroyer. When he just wipes you out of Nuzlocke. I would really love to know if counter hits ghost types. Okay, so you don't actually battle us, which is quite nice, but you do, I'm pretty sure. Yep, Scientist Mark here, he has a magnet on it. Only we had Earthquake. But we don't need it, because we have Fire Punch on our Alakazam, and he wipes the floor. So we're going to go into Jinx for the Marowak here, because Jinx needs the experience slightly more than um, Star Me. Star Me, I should say, now, of course. And then uh, we've got Mr. Mime. Are you going to set up barriers on me? goes for Encore, which is a bad idea. We can just Nightshade away, and we destroy him pretty easily. So, obviously we can't cut through there until we get the key. So we've got to go get the key from the Director, um, and so we've got to take off from this guy. Here's four Pokemon, starting off with a Mantine. We will Thunder Punch. It should be a one-hit KO. It was a crit, so I won't ever know. Next up is the Star Me. We're going to go into Giraffe Rig here, and we're going to Shadow Ball it. That is a two-hit KO, which is awesome. So, next up is the Feraligator. So it looks like this guy is a water-type trainer, which kind of sucks. Um, we are just going to have to Thunder Punch away. Fortunately, he's got a Screech up there. Kingler is not so much of an issue, unless it guillotines, but we one-hit KO it with a crit hit um, Thunder Punch, which is really nice. Um, I'm going to say we can tank some more... We can tank some more battles. Scientist Rich only has one Pokemon, but it is a Porygon. Uh, we're going to reflect to it converted into Dark type. Interesting. Uh, fighting type moves or bug type moves. We don't have either of them, so we are going to go into Star Me. Goes for the Tri Attack. Good. We're going to Light Screen now. Um, the reason we wanted to light screen, we got a crit hit surf anyway, but the reason we wanted to light screen is because he converted into the dark side, which therefore means um, his moves could well be dark, and obviously dark is special here, so um, our reflect wouldn't have done much at all. So anyway, he starts off with a Noctowl. We can Thunder Punch, and that is so close to being a one hit KO, but anyway, Alkazam is putting in the work up to level 48. Next up is the Dodrio. We're going to Jinx here, and we are not faster. I am very surprised that we're not faster. But we destroy. Now, we're probably not faster than... We are faster... So we're not faster than the Dodrio, but we are faster than the Pidgeot. The Pidgeot looks like it's going to survive, though, unfortunately. Gets the wing attack in. Um, so we're going to go to Zatu here. We can't Nightshade, obviously. Um... It can Whirlwind. I did not realise that Whirlwind could affect you while you were flying. So anyway, so I'll go to level 44. We take out those two rockets. Uh, if only I had some like dig and then we can just zip straight back to the Pokemon Center with ease. Um, so. Cool, actually. Uh, this isn't going so badly now. Um, once we got rid of all those normal types, um, we're actually doing pretty well. I'm going to put uh, Zasu in front. Actually, no, we're going to put Eevee in front. Let me see. As long as we don't let Eevee faint, uh, it, should, it should be fine. So, so we have the Imposter Director here, who is a Rocket Executive. He starts off with a Magcargo at level 53. Now, Magcargo is obviously Rock... Um, rock 
fire, and so it's quadruply weak to water, hence the Surf wipes it out in one shot. Next Pokemon is the Ursa Ring, um, which is a big issue for us. Um, we're going to just want to get away damage on this thing, so I'm going to go into Alakazam, and I'm going to reflect. Okay, so it's got the Earthquake, but the Earthquake, for not being stabbed, that does a lot of damage to us, and with the Reflector. But Psychic is a two-hit KO, which is great news for us. Next up is the Crobat, so we're going to go into Jinx S, and we're just going to Ice Punch. That does so much, which is really good, there we go. Next up is the Ariados. Um, we could legitimately stay in here. Uh, indeed. Oh, I should have gone into um, a bit of confusion. It is super effective. I guess the Sludge Bomb gets a crit here, which probably mattered. But um, what we can do is we can go here and fly and miss. And it goes for the Sludge Bomb. That does loads. But misses the Hyper Beam again, and the fly does not take it out. I was going to say Hyper Beam wasn't Stab, but it is Hyper Beam. <laughs> Even grows to level 40. And then a final Pokemon, oh no, penultimate Pokemon, is a Muck. We can't be messing around anymore, we've just got to take these guys out. Psychic from an Alakazam on a Muck is devastating, if not um, fully destructive. And then a Tentacruel, which is actually really good luck for us, um, being another Poison type, Psybeam. If we can tank two, sir, uh, we can't tank two. That kind of sucks. Psybeam does not do as much as I need it to. Um, I mean, I can heal, but... I'm going to have to assume it's got... It's probably going to have... Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Super Potion up Stara. Surf takes us out, as I expected. So we're going to go into Stara here. Um, we don't like Screen because it's most likely going to go for a physical move, I would have thought. We're going to Surf here. It's not very effective, as we expect. It goes for s Toxic and it doesn't affect us, which is lovely. I am going to use an X Special. We can go with the Sludge Bomb, and the Sludge Bomb gets a crit hit, of course it does. Okay, so we have an Eevee here against a Tentacle 15 levels above. Um, do I headbutt? I don't have any revives, do I? Because I'm an idiot. No, I have no revives, so I've got a headbutt. Sludge Bomb does not take us out. Headbutt does not leave him in range from a quick attack, though, which sucks. Um, so, what do we do? What do we do? I think what we do is we, do we max potion. If I max potion, it then has to attack again. And maybe it chooses a bad attack. We gotta try it. So we'll max potion up. It surfs that we should take that. We do, okay. Um We weren't faster, so we do actually need a quick attack here. Quick attack, we needed a crit, we don't get the crit, we faint. That sucks. Well, we can definitely do that better. I let uh, Alakazam go down too soon by letting it go down to the muck. I should have uh, weakened it with the Starmie. Uh, should have weakened the muck with the Starmie before uh, letting it go down. Because Alakazam is essentially our win condition throughout most of this fight. So, anyway. I'm gonna battle him once more. Starts off with the Mag Cargo. I should have had Starmie ready for this. This is. There, it goes for the fire spin and misses, which is beautiful. It means that our stomach now does not have any damage associated with it going into the next battle. So, we know this Ursa Ring goes for Earthquake. I'm just going to straight up Psychic. It is a two hit KO. It misses the Rock Slide, which is amazing. 
Next is the Crobat. We're going to go into Jinx here. We are going to Ice Punch. We do survive a Sludge Bomb. Just. Um, Eevee survived a Sludge Bomb. And a Quick Attack finishes off the Crobat. Next Pokemon is Muck. Um, so this time, rather than letting that uh, go down, we're going to go here and we are going to Psybeam. That was a crit hit Psybeam, which is really useful for us. We take it out in two hits, Giraffe goes to level 47. Next up is the Ariados. We stay in. Psybeam again. That is a two hit KO, but Sludge Bomb takes us out. We're going to Zartu here and we will fly. And that takes out. The Aria Dose, and then we will. S uh, we're going to go into EV here because I want to see EV get the experience. And then we're going to go into Zatu. Zatu takes an Ice Beam. Wow. That's really impressive. Well done, Zatu. But it's slower, which is not so impressive. One Psychic is not enough. Good lord, this tentacle. Do we eat? We do eat up the Sludge Bomb despite getting poisoned. Psychic finishes it off. Eevee gets a load of experience and grows to level 41. Alakazam gets a load of experience. Boom. So they say they, they give us the basement key. And again, unfortunately, Eevee has not evolved, which kind of sucks. But nonetheless, uh, we can we can cope with that for the moment. Um, we should get a lot of happiness from defeating, um, like, sort of like a sub-boss, as it were, of this game. Um, so anyway, so, obviously, our next task is to take out the, um, again, I'm at low battery, so yeah, so obviously our next task will be to go into the underground, I think we did, yeah, we did all these battles. We go into here, we obviously have the door key to open and unlock the door. We will take on the trainers, okay? Do we have a rival battle here? I don't think we do, but anyway. You and you don't feel like I take care of Team Rocket. Wait a second, you beat me before, didn't you? That was just a fluke, but I repay my debts. Yes, we do. So we're going to finish off with a battle with our rival Alex here, who starts off with the Dragonair. We're going to cut into Jinx here. Uh, goes for the Thunder Wave, which really sucks. Gets off a slam, but we get off an Ice Punch. That is a one-hit KO on the Dragonair, which is really, really good. Next Pokemon is the Jolteon. Now, we have nothing that's super effective against the Jolteon. Um, and obviously, Jolteons are crazy fast. So what we're going to do... I can't go into Star because it will just Thunderbolt me. Ah, I can't slow it down. Going to go into Girafferig. And we're going to strength. Goes for the sand attack, really? So we land a strength after a sand attack, which is great. I'm pretty sure Jolteon is weaker. Well, okay, that was, a, that was a crit. Goes for the Thunderbolt. Does loads of damage. We miss a Shadow Ball, but we get another one. I think my Giraffe Rig is holding a Quick Claw. I think it is. It might be... Um, well, that might be why um, we're getting lots of sort of lucky stuff. Anyway, so here's uh, Zatu goes for a wing attack. We land a Shadow Ball. It doesn't take it out, but that's not what we need it to do. We land a Thunder Punch. Down goes the Zatu. Alakazam is up to level 49. Next Pokemon is a Poister. We'll also go down to a Thunder Punch. Alex is about to use the Alligator. He had an unlucky run there of Pokemon weak to electric um, right at the end. So, to be honest, if I had an electric type Pokemon, I could run through the Zartu, the Feraligator, the Cloyster. Yeah, he has no ground type as well. So anyway, but we defeat Alex to finish off this episode. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And I hope you'll join me on the next one because we will obviously finish off the rockets here in Goldenrod, and then we'll hopefully head over to Blackthorn. We might not tackle Claire then and there, but we'll see um, see what we feel like doing. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I hope you will join me on the next.